Hello, Team Capricorn. It's Empire 333 here with your love reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For all of you who are new, welcome. And for all my loyal people and loving support, I thank you. Welcome back. So I'm doing extended readings. I might extend this video. It will be underneath this um, underneath this video in the description box, the link there, okay? Based off of what Spirit guides me to do. So let's get into your reading cap. I hope you're all well and safe. This is about emotional healing, okay? So some of you, um, you've been through a lot, okay? So you could have gone through a recent breakup or a break, call it what you will, some kind of, I just heard disconnection, Okay, so this is about you. Um, some of you, bless your heart, that's so beautiful. Okay, so reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. This is about you. What I'm getting from this is you're not feeling safe right now. Okay, you're not feeling safe. So it could be either this person was not making you feel safe or secure. That's how you feel. Or this has to do with now that this person's not in your life, you're not feeling safe, okay? So um, it's saying reach out for emotional support with people that you trust, okay? So make sure you do that. But this is also, and mend your heart. They just said mend your heart because some of you are heartbroken. That sucks, okay? Um, I'm sorry about the dog that is barking. I don't know what's going on. So... Revealing your true self. This is about you and what I'm feeling here is that you're some of you are going off of you know what this person's needs are and about them, okay? It's kind of like you're you're overextending yourself to whoever you've been dealing with or are dealing with. This is past present future readings, guys, so keep that in mind, but this is all a lot about you know, who am I really, okay? So this is about honoring yourself also um, and who you are and not going to the beat of someone else's drum, okay? Because it's like from what I see here is that you're very connected, okay? Some of you are connected to your intuition um, and it's like you know what to do when it's that kind of things and you're just like okay so you're very understanding with how it is okay so um as you allow others to know the real you you're you'll feel loved for who you truly are so this person could have made you feel that um you're a certain way that you shouldn't be and things like that okay but here spirit is trying to tell you, you need to love you for you, okay? And not basically bend for other people, okay? So maybe some of you have been really lenient with this person and go, like I they keep saying, going to the beat of someone else's drum, okay? So hold on, guys. Sorry, Cap. Okay, so... Your person, sensitive emotions, okay? So what I'm feeling here is that you started processing your emotions faster with the pain and so forth before your person. I feel like your person is not just, is not connected really to their emotions. I feel that this person, what they do is they block their emotions and feelings a lot, okay? And that could just be the way their technique is. Maybe they don't know how to heal. Maybe they don't know how to um, pay attention to their feelings. They, It's actually a behavior that is instinctual in them. So it could be a behavioral pattern, okay? Although this person is sensitive, okay? So what I'm feeling here is that this person could have been hurt before you. And it's like they hurt you because you hurt them but not it's not intentional is what i'm feeling okay so it could be i'm getting for some of you your person is an indigo okay so if you don't know what that means look it up indigo like the color which is this color okay 
this person um, is going through a really rough cycle, okay? Some of you might know that. Like they're going through like a storm, something that is changing in their life, a cycle that's coming to an end. This also has to do with a lot of lower energies is what I'm feeling with this person. And at this time, it's like they're having a hard time closing out a cycle, okay? So let's get into... How this person is feeling, guys. Keep in mind, this could be past, present, future. Okay. So, how your person is feeling. Yeah. Okay. That makes total sense. Sorry, Cap. I keep getting interrupted. I'm very sorry, but I was going on. I hope you're not getting interrupted with what you want to do. Wow. Okay, so let's see your person here. Okay. Ooh. Huh. This is so interesting. Okay, so this person really felt this Ten of Cups energy with you, okay? I do feel like because it's Mercury retrograde, this person is looking back to this and seeing how good they had it, okay? And they might have a lot of regrets. But the thing here is that, yeah, it, it's saying they don't, they didn't lose what they felt for you. Like, it's never lost. But what I feel here is that this person could have been really stubborn in making the changes to this connection, okay? So it kind of like just... Um, how should I say it? I feel like this person didn't appreciate you. So whoever's watching, it's like this person didn't appreciate what you both had enough to make the changes they need to make. I feel like this person could have rejected you. They could have taken you for granted. Okay. They don't realize how amazing you are. Or maybe they got distracted. Okay. So, because I keep getting distracted, so that's really strange. Um, maybe this person got distracted by someone else or by another situation that they didn't value this connection the way they were supposed to because now they're feeling this. They're feeling this really heavy. And now because of that, they feel left out in the cold. They're lonely. So that's what I'm getting. I'm getting for a lot of you, this person could have been distracted by someone else. And that really just like killed this connection. And not appreciated you. Okay. So yeah, this person is, is really regretting whatever they did. Okay, Cap. So if you have somebody who did you wrong... They really regret what they did. And it's like now they're they're lonely. Okay. There could have been, I just got a secret that came out. Um that I feel like is past energy. Okay, so let's see how you're feeling about this. Whoa, okay, come back. How are you all doing with Mercury Retrograde? It's, it's over on the 21st. Yay. That is today, I think. But it has a shadow period, guys. Hmm. Ooh. I love this. Oh, my God. What's going on? Okay, so I feel like you pulled back your energy. You pulled back your loving. You pulled back your caringness, your beautiful nurturing personality. You're like, I'm not going to put this in anymore, okay? I feel that a lot of you got really messed up by this person, okay? Some of you, like, they really, really hurt your feelings. It's like... I just heard they made me an emotional mess. 
That's what I just heard from someone. And here, banking? I don't know why I'm getting banking. Does somebody do banking here? <laughs> or somebody works in banking? Yeah, you're trying to just get out of this person's deceit from the past, okay? There's some type of things this person did not tell you. Maybe they betrayed you. This is a seven of swords right here. Not nice. But something's coming in for you, okay? Something is coming in for you. So I feel like this is like a big time opportunity for love, okay? So guys, I don't know whether it's this person or not, but someone is either in love with you or about to fall in love with you. So this could be someone new. I love this energy that I'm feeling. Wow. I just heard this is going to take you by surprise. So guys, this is what I want to say. While you're healing, um, and like Spirit keeps saying, you know, um, get some emotional support. Some of you are like, I could do this by myself. I don't need anyone, blah, blah, blah. And that's fine, but get someone that you trust, okay? Because um, this has a lot to do with, you know, how you're processing the emotions. And I feel like Spirit's got something prepared for you. Like, this is nice. I don't know if you, those of you, have you met someone new? Let me know in the comments because I'm getting a new love energy for a lot of you. And this person is like falling in love with you. Wow, I love this energy. This is amazing. But a lot of you have to get over this because this deceitful energy from this person from the past because um, I don't want it to affect this new person. I feel like for a lot of you, it's someone new, guys. I don't feel like it's this person. Let me know in the comments, but whether it's this person or not doesn't matter. There's this opportunity of love coming in. And I feel like it's going to be like... It's going to be after, you know, you process the emotions and you heal from this deceit. Because this really hurts you bad. And spirit doesn't want you to close off your heart completely just because of what this person did to you. Is what they just said, okay? Um, yeah, they don't want you to close off your heart space is what I just got. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. I don't know who others reading I said that in. You know, it's not me, it's spirit, guys. I'm just a messenger. Wow, I'm getting really hot. Woo! I feel that some of you... Um, Okay, this is what I'm getting. Some of you went through trauma from the past about this person, okay? And that needs to be healed. So please get some guidance from someone who's spiritual, a healer, or something like that is what I'm getting, okay? So it's kind of like um, there's a lot of fear in you, and it's like they want you to be listening to your intuition and healing this space this betrayal okay i feel like a lot of you it's betrayal cap so make sure you're not you're not like you're you know i normally cap is like i got this i'm fixing this i got this it's, it's on me i could do it i could do 20 things at once it's like you know yes you are like that but when it comes to this i feel that you need help with it okay so make sure you do so spirit is saying because they're preparing you for something beautiful okay Look at this. I love this. I'm sorry. I just have to just look at this because this together is beautiful. Okay. It's kind of like someone's waiting for your heart to, you know, to heal so that, you know, this opportunity comes in. I feel like it's spirit really. Okay. So let's see. Okay. I'm going to go with the back to the past person who feels out in the cold just yeah. This person knows they messed it up. 
Yep. They messed it up. They had a good thing. They messed it up, okay? So, guys, um, let me see how I should do this. Okay. Yeah, they messed up the opportunity to be with you in a stable connection. Yeah. They, this person, whoever this was, it's like there was a commitment here. Whether it was already physically, you both were committed, there was a promise or something, or maybe you both were married, they screwed it up. Okay. Um, what about this new person? Yeah, this person feels like they, they missed an opportunity with you that was very valuable and loving. They screwed it up. Now they feel left out in the cold. You could have been like, I'm done with this person. No more. No more of you hurting me, betraying me. I'm sick of, you know, having to always, like, accommodate to you. No more accommodations to you. Okay? So I'm going to pull... Um, hold on guys. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card for this person and then I'm going to see a new person because I feel like a lot of you are their new person is coming in. Yep. What do they want? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, this person, I feel like it's, you know, it's not going anywhere. To whoever you know this is, um, I feel like for a lot of you, this is a person of the past that you just pulled back your energy. You're like, I'm done. Um, this person, it's like, at this time, I don't feel like it's salvageable, okay? I'm sorry to those of you who are disappointed. I feel like this person really needs to wake up, okay? They need to go through this, like, connection, meditate. They need to get on their spiritual journey. So in order to cut out all the lower energies, because look at this. We both got swords. And remember I said they're in lower negative energies, guys. So right now I don't see that salvageable. So for those of you who want to move on to the new person and this person right here, I'm going to use another deck, okay? This person, I feel like they're falling in love with you or they will fall in love with you. If you have not met them yet, you will meet them, okay? And this I'm getting as like a great opportunity for you. It's kind of like God's like, you know, spirit, whoever you believe in, creator is like, okay, you know what? Um, we're preparing you for this, but you need to get out of this betrayal energy because this person... I feel like you can trust this person, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the extended for this person, the person who is already in love with you or who will be in love with you, okay? <coughs> um, Excuse me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to Capricorn predict, like, what's happening with this person, what this connection will be like or what it's going like, okay? Um also what you need to do in order to make this the best connection possible because I feel like a lot of you even though you've pulled back your energy from the past I feel like you're still hung up on the past because of the betrayal like how could they do this to me and the way this person has been treating you it's really hard to process okay so I'm going to do spiritual advice and what you need to do, and also um, for those of you who have not met this person, I'll do a prediction, okay, of like what's how it is, what's going to happen, kind of give you an outlook, like a horoscope, or what is that called? You know what I'm talking about, <laughs> Cap? <laughs> but anyways, love is coming, love is on its way to you. I'm just letting you know, it looks beautiful. I hope that this has brought you some clarity, and um, if it has, don't forget to like this video, give me a thumbs up.